basically gangster rap. I guess it's like telling the real and not holding back, giving up, you know, the reality from the street point of view. And like by us being from the streets, we know how to report it. I tell, you know, basically what's going on. Easy E grew up on the mean streets of Compton, California. He's a gangster rap original with a long police rap sheet and a top 10 pop album. They say rap promotes violence and gangster rap does this and everything else. And I don't think gangster rap promotes violence at all. I think it's the person, you know. A song, a rap song doesn't make a person go out and shoot people or go out and rape people and everything else. I think it's the person. I have some lyrics here from some of the songs that you've done in your career. And to be very honest, many of this, much of this I can't even say on television. But I want to read some of this to you. Um, so what about the bitch that got shot? F her. You think I care about a bitch? I ain't a sucker. Right. Um, songs That's titled... That's not talking about women, though. What is it talking a about? A lot of them bitches. It's a difference. I figure a bitch is... Uh, someone that does like scandalous things to you you have another <laughs> you have another song called real niggas why do you guys call yourself this word that has well, been we so have funny? we didn't we didn't give ourselves this name now <laughs> but right now in society you guys are calling yourself right. niggers a lot but more than we didn't give ourselves that name people have been calling us niggers for years and so we carry that word we right now the word is like saying homeboy the fact is that there are a lot of gangster records right now. Uh, there's a lot of voices for people who had no voice before. And when Sticky Fingers said, I hate your guts and I hope you die, my name is Sticky Fingers, my life is a lie, I want you to feel that in your chest. I want you to understand he's third generation 40 projects and he's that mad. Maybe if there were jobs there, he wouldn't be as angry. But in the meantime, he might rob you. And that's a reality. And that's a reality that, that white America has to live with. That's a reality that kids in Boise, Idaho are just beginning to understand. This happens every day around my way, so I pray that I can live another day. Hey, yo, Gangster rap is so controversial that some record companies are putting out two versions of gangster music videos with and without guns. Because MTV won't air gratuitous violence. And some radio stations are now refusing to play violent rap songs. Let's take um, the current record by Snoop Dogg. He makes a reference to 187 on an undercover cop. 187 is the California police code for murder. There's no consequence expressed in any of these actions. This is a simple glorification of doing these types of things. Those types of records we don't want aired on V103.9. Reverend Jesse Jackson thinks gangster rap is perpetuating the problem of black-on-black -black violence. He is talking boycott. Record companies that, uh, that make money off of, of a pain and degradation must be challenged to stop doing it. And challenged that, how? What well, do you... In some instances, they must be boycotted. We must take the profit out of the pain. Do you think these rap artists have a responsibility to their community as role models to these kids? Indeed, the rap artists have a responsibility. Those who pay them have a responsibility. But those who set the context have an even greater responsibility. If there were not such easy access to guns and drugs and so much unemployment and so much abandonment, the rapper would be abstract. The pain for reality is that the rapping is real. And somehow I get the impression that, that basic white mass media was to focus on, on, on rap and not reality. And I say, if you're going to cover violence, cover reality, not just rap. Rap is an, an extension of the culture. Let's break up the violence in the culture. Sorry. And I hope you all put that on camera because that's real. I mean, don't, don't just pick and choose stuff out of here to fit me on one side and the rappers on the other. These are our children in trouble. They are in pain. And if I talk back, you ready to beat me down fast, G? Just like Rodney King. But it gets to he was in here like five years. You just got out of you just got out of prison. About eight months. What were you in for? For an assault on another gang member. When I was inside a uh, like a halfway house or a youth home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now you're a rapper? I'm a rapper. Writer. Uh, writer. Uh, 
arrange uh, everything. So this music that is being so maligned is actually kind of giving you a purpose in life and something instructive it's to do. me the only the only avenue i felt i had you know in a lot of songs and a lot of videos you, you, they're featured um young men with guns that sort of thing young any of you guys carry guns do you incriminate mm -hmm. ourselves on you camera no, no, never. no we don't carry guns we carry switch says with a smile <laughs> I mean, really seriously do you, you? you carry guns no. no so you guys don't you feel like you don't have to it's just the life that we live, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just where we stay, I mean, you never know what can happen. There's people dying every day that you know. And every day, rapper wannabes flock to record executives, hoping to rap their way to the big money. You gonna continue making a lot of money off of this, do you think? Basically, as long as you got people that want to learn about all this, and they want to hear it, you know? As long as it's violence, this is going to be rap music, gangster rap music, or whatever. Now, as for those three rappers in trouble, Tupac Shakur today pled innocent to charges that he shot and wounded two off-duty police officers, and Snoop Doggy Dog plans to plead not guilty to all the charges against him. Flavor Flav is currently in drug rehabilitation. He'll be indicted in two weeks. Weird story.